this is unlike any car you've ever seen before. Because no one has ever thought this way about a car before. This is strength and lightness. This is an interior that exceeds the promise of the exterior. This is technological innovation in overdrive. This is the all-new Jaguar XJ. The stunning result of taking a very different road. George, first of all, can we start by congratulating you on the uh, all-time Premiership appearance record, 240 knots out. How does that feel? Yeah, it uh, feels all right. Um, it is strange. I, th I think it's something to reflect on, really, at the end of your career when everything's finished and all the dust has settled. But um, it's nice. It's, it's, uh, it's quite an honour. Um, hopefully there's a few more left in the old legs yet, but um, yeah, it's nice. Not, not really something I've ever aimed for, but uh, I suppose it just comes around. Was it something you were aware of going into the sale game? Well, yeah, actually, this year, um, you know, people have been talking uh, about, about that, that, not that record, but because obviously Simon Shaw left for the go to France and he Vivian was pretty much retired at Saracens, it was, it was basically just me left in, in the top three. I was about, I think I was about 15, uh, 14 behind Vivian so at the end of the beginning of the season, so it was on the cards, but uh, you know, it's not something I've, again, I'm not something I've really focused on, but it's come around and it's nice to, nice to, to have it with. Really. What are the boys in the change rooms saying? Oh yeah, no, no, it's not, I mean it's not been not been a big deal amongst the players. It's uh, you know it's just a sort of get on with it really. I, mean, uh, it's, I suppose that again when, once once past the end of the season, the end of my career, whatever it is, um, it'll, it'll, it'll sort of mean more perhaps. But uh, yeah, so far no, no banners from even Dan Cole, <laughs> which is good because he's rubbish. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Um, and in those 240 um, league games, there will be a few against Wasps you play at, at the weekend. Mm. Um, what are your sort of memories of, of the big Wasps occasions? Um, there's always been a tough side. I mean, obviously, when I was at Saracens, it was, uh, it was a derby um, and, it, and it had quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of spike to it. Um, and then, of course, once I joined Leicester, Wasps was just becoming one of the, the big powers. So, uh, again, the rivalry was pretty fierce between Leicester and Wasps then. So, yeah, it's always a tough game. And I think regardless of, of the league positions this year, there'll be no different. They'll come up here um, wanting to match us physically and, and emotionally. And uh, the league table will be, will be sort of second second rate really for the duration of the game and, and I think they were certainly trying to get stuck into us and, and more than one of them. It's always one of those games that the supporters look for when the fixture list comes on, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, like I say, it's, it's, it's been, well, Leicester, Leicester and Wasps have been the, the two biggest clubs in the professional era in, in this country. Uh, obviously other, other clubs are catching up slowly, but uh, you know, all the league titles we've shared and the European Cups we've shared in, in the last 10, 12 years, uh, the, the rivalry speaks for itself. Yeah. Um, looking ahead to 2012, have you made any uh, New Year's resolutions? Uh, probably just to give Coley uh, more more grief. A statement. He needs it. Just, just keep him down to earth. You know, just give him big for his boots. Woo! <laughs> 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 and and what, are you, what are you most looking forward to during 2012? Uh, probably the summer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I, it, it, it's different. I mean, it, for us, it, sort of New Year and Christmas doesn't really mean too much because we we, we play and we train through it. So uh, I've not really had a chance to sit down and make any resolutions. Probably stop biting my nails, isn't it? But um, you know, is that I, achievable? I, is that doable? No, I've I've probably said that for the last 34, 30, 35 years, but um, it's not worked so far. But yeah, I think from a rugby point of view, we obviously want to want to push on. From we're in a pretty good position at the moment. We've just just crept into the top four in the Premiership. Um, we're doing okay in Europe. Um, obviously, the next next three or four weeks is, is is a big, big phase of the season for us in the Premiership and in, in Europe. So, uh, hopefully, we can we can get through that period and, and be where we need to be.